Aloha, this is Jonathan, and I'm going to do a walkthrough of the Herbal Tarot. Um, the deck actually comes with its own book, which is sold separately. I mean, it's not a huge book, but it's pretty extensive, 222 pages. And, oh, my little bookmark is in there. <laughs> um, talks about quite a lot of stuff, actually, in here. And then... Each major has uh, a write-up about it, including the herb that is on the card. And then there's keywords with an affirmation and the herbal allies. So each one has quite an extensive little write-up. Let's see, how, and that's just the majors. And then like here is the two of pentacles. Uh, again, you also have a write-up about the herb. Doses and preparation, and then there's keywords. So the minors are still a, still pretty extensive. They just are two pages versus the majors, which are what, just over two pages. And let's see. I thought there was some. Yeah, over there. There's the medicine wheel spread. Wait, I think there was one before that as well. Not medicine wheel spread. Uh, inner teacher's moon spread. Conscious moon spread. So basically, it's the same spread with different versions. And then we have the sacred herb spread. And then there's a glossary. And index. So let's get to the cards themselves. It comes in a tuck box and it is by US Games by Michael Tierra, who's an herbologist. And a funny story that was, when I was a little kid, Michael Tierra was actually my mom's acupuncturist. And Candice Canton is the artist. So the Herbal Tarot deck created by Michael Tierra and designed by Candice Canton integrates the healing properties of traditional herbs with the symbolism of tarot. A different herb is identified and illustrated on each card. I'm not sure what's going on upstairs. They were supposed to be going up for a shower. <laughs> okay. Um, typical little white book. I do like the US games because their little white books are just English. Um, and this is Herbs and Trust. So there's a little bit of stuff about it in here as well. And then you get, let's see, Minor Arcana, Suit of Wands. Let's talk about each suit as well. And it's a total of, let's see, oh yeah, typical 10 card spread, total of 39 pages. Here we have the title card. Just notice there's a crease going down the middle of that, interesting. That's the back of the card, and it's a pretty thick U.S. games style cardstock. The path of the herbalist is open, is to open ourselves to nature in an innocent and pure way. She in turn will open her bounty and reward us with many valuable secrets. May the earth bless you. I really do like these facts here. So here we have the Fool, which herb is ginseng. Here we have the Magician, whose herb is astralgus. The High Priestess, whose herb is peony. The Empress, whose herb is donggui. 
the Chinese herb. The emperor is, sorry that as you can see the writing is a little attractolite. Here we have the high priest. I like that he's got the pillars just like the uh, high priestess. And that is sage. I love how he's holding an onk here. We have the lovers with paisley. The chariot. I love it. It's being drawn by the herb itself, which is cypress. Strength. We have the cayenne pepper. I love how she just nonchalantly pushing over a pillar. The hermit is licorice. Instead of the wheel of fortune, we have the medicine wheel, which is slippery elm. Here we have justice, which is plantain. Suspended person instead of the hanged man, and that is kelp. Here we have death holding an elderflower. Actually, no. This is elderflower. It looks like death is holding a rose. Temperance is echinacea. Instead of the devil, we have Pan, Labelia. I love that the tower is garlic. <laughs> Here we have the star, Skullcap. Here's the moon, Lemon Balm. The sun, Angelica. It's interesting that the sun has the rays usually seen in Egyptian motifs. And in fact, if you can, if you see right here, one of the hands of the sun is holding an ankh. Judgment is golden seal. The world is comfrey. So I believe these cards go backwards in order. So King of Swords is St. John's Wort. Queen of Swords, Lady Slipper. Knight of Swords, Wild Cherry Bark. Page of Swords, Dill. Ten of Swords, Ephedra. It's interesting that the swords are covered in blood, but you don't see any people. Nine of Swords is Valerian. Eight of Swords is Black Kohash. Seven of Swords is Wood Betany. Six of Swords is Vervain. Five of Swords is Mistletoe. Four of Swords, Mullen. Three of Swords. Sorry, 
it's kind of hard to see that. Plurzy root. Two of swords, passion flower. I love how much of this, what we call it Lilikoi here in Hawaii, and it is everywhere. Ace of swords, chamomile. King of wands, cinnamon. Queen of Wands, Raspberry Leaf. Knight of Wands, Aconite. And, and just in case you don't know, Aconite is a poisonous herb if you're not careful with it. Page of Wands, Shepherd's Purse. Ten of Wands, Prickly ash bark. Nine of wands. Bayberry bark. Eight of wands. Sassafras. Sassafras. Isn't that a fun word? Here we have seven of wands. Wild ginger. Six of wands. Hawthorn. Five of Wands. Turmeric. Four of Wands. Oh, look, fairies. Fennel seed. Three of Wands. Saffron. Two of Wands, Basil. Ace of Wands, Yarrow. King of Cups, Saw Palmetto. Queen of Cups, Ladies Mantle. Knight of Cups, Sarsaparilla. Page of Cups, Damiana. Ten of Cups, Marijuana. Nine of Cups. Sorry, this writing sometimes I can't read it. Squawvine, Eight of Cups, Gravel Root, Seven of Cups, Juniper Berries, Six of Cups, Watermelon, Five of Cups, Horsetail, Four of Cups, Burdock. Three of Cups, Trillium. Two of Cups, Uva Ursi. Ace of Cups, Lotus. King of Pentacles, Alfalfa. Queen of Pentacles, Marshmallow. Mallow. Knight of Pentacles, Lilla Campaign. Page of Pentacles, Blue Flag. Ten of Pentacles, Wild Yam. Nine of Pentacles, Dark Grapes. 
Eight of Pentacles, Ginger. Seven of Pentacles, Rhubarb. Six of Pentacles, Hops. Five of Pentacles, Mugwort. Four of Pentacles, Kasara Bark. Three of Pentacles, Chintain. Two of Pentacles, Yellow Dock. And the Ace of Pentacles, Whole Grains. And that is the Herbal Tarot. Let me know if you have it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and this is uh, my first nighttime video, so I'm sure the sounds are going to be much different than my normal ones. Um, until next time, aloha!